The winter update has arrived, and with it, twin robots, ice versus fire, a nice little rework of Fuzim, lots of rewards for our winter festivities, and a new tier system to highlight which robots rock harder. Let's start with the tiers. Grey, blue, purple, and golden. These four colors now indicate your equipment's power and complexity. Grey is for beginners, blue is for intermediate players. With purple you can start competing for real, but it's the bright golden where the true endgame begins. We always had this progression system in mind when designing equipment, but now we have finally highlighted it with this colorful and transparent tier system. So you'd have easier time navigating through the loads of War Robots content. We have also adjusted some item prices to match their tiers better. More details in our update notes. Moving on to the new robots, wielding powers of ice and fire. Siren's cryogenic missiles freeze everything in target area. All the robots that were not quick enough to escape will become sluggish and vulnerable. A convenient target for Harpy – Siren's fiery twin. Harpy's missiles ignite the area and overheat targets for additional damage. A combined attack of this duo is nothing less than a force of nature. But if you catch them on the ground and unsupported, they will have a tough time fighting back. More action and info in our dedicated overview. To boost your sirens and harpies, consider recruiting sisters XC171711 and XC171712. DC usually don't get too creative with their experiment code names. Their combat training, though, is unmatched. XCs always act together and give your new robots an extra chunk of survivability. If you want to give another try to the classic repair bot, look no further than Marie Leclerc. With her at the helm, your old mender will be able to repair structural grey damage. Admitter has just got himself a rival. Remember this guy? Of course you do. It's looking at you from the game's main icon. War Robots battles became much more dynamic since Fuzin's release. So we've decided to adapt this classic tetrapod to modern warfare. Fudzin can now move with its shield on. While it's a relatively small change, we still expect it to stir things up in lower leagues. If you'd like to see more reworks like this one, tell us in the comments and crush that like button. It's all cozy and warm inside the hangar. But remember, glory and riches await down on the battlefield. Apart from the new robots, the event rewards will include the scavenger versions of Shell and Blaze, new paint jobs for Typhon and Hawk, and the new drone, which will protect you from freezing and overheating while bringing its own gun to the fight. By the way, do you make War Robots videos or stream the game? If so, you should definitely apply for War Robots Creator Program. It will give you access to rewards based on the number of views on your channel. The participants of the Creator Program share a lot of useful insights with each other on how to create good content. Details by the link in the description. That's it for 7.7.7.7.7.7.7.7. Get ready for Christmas and happy hunting, commanders!